as we have found out every week, there are some gems out there and you can do all of the prep and read all the magazines and all the websites and listen to all the podcasts, but sometimes some guys fall through the cracks. And so each week we are going to look at the fantasy football dumpster darlings, the that helped nobody all stars, the players who are barely owned in fantasy football, but put up massive points that make us feel oh so frustrated about this fun game that we play. We start off at the quarterback position. Derek Carr, just 20% owned, put up 22.82 fantasy points. At wide receiver, it's Quinton Johnston, 7% owned, 19.6 fantasy points. Uh, I believe this is the second week in a row that Alec Pierce has showed up for the Indianapolis Colts. 28% owned, so we're getting a little high, um, but 14.1 fantasy points. In the backfield, what did we say all offseason? If there's a New York Jets running back you want, it's Braylon Allen. Uh, the, the running back who we had all absolutely heard of before two weeks ago. 10% um, owned. 10% very deep leagues. 18.6 fantasy points. At RB2, Antonio Gibson from the, oh yeah, that guy pile. 16% owned. He plays for the Patriots now, by the way. 10.8 um, fantasy points. His teammate, Hunter Henry, our tight end. 14.9 fantasy points, 25% owned. Um, and our flex, Andre Ishavas, I know I'm saying that wrong, 7% owned. He only got two targets. Both of them were in the end zone. 13.7 fantasy points. Uh, our kicker, the number one kicker in fantasy football this week, was owned by exactly nobody. Austin Siebert is in a fantasy, is in a family league that he's not even owned in. 0% owned, 22 fantasy points. And our defense, again, what were we all saying at the beginning of the year? You have to get Arizona's defense. What were we saying going into the week? You have to get Arizona's defense against the LA Rams. It's just, it's a must, right? 0% owned, 11 fantasy points. Which means this team where Alec Pierce is the highest owned player, the owned percentages of this team almost add up to 100. I think it's 116 that you get to when you add up how owned all of these players are combined. It's 147 fantasy points. Fantasy football, again, can be a cruel, cruel, cruel mistress.